Dan untuk itu, kerajaan memutuskan untuk melaksanakan Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan mulai 18 Mac 2020 iaitu lusa hingga 31 Mac 2020 di seluruh negara. Perintah kawalan ini dibuat di bawah Akta Pencegahan dan Pengawalan Penyakit Berjangkit 1988 dan Akta Polis 1967. COVID crisis has impacted so many industries this year as the virus forced businesses across the country to close their doors. Empty streets have become the new normal during the COVID-19 pandemic. Thousands laid off or furloughed, stores shut down, public gatherings banned, travel restrictions and physical distancing imposed, as a third of the world practices some form of a lockdown to slow down the spread of COVID-19. And all of this is having an impact on our global economy. Industries like airlines, import-export companies, tourism, retailers, events, restaurants, and many other non-essential services have been hit, some harder than others. The United Nations says we may see a $2 trillion shortfall in our global income and a $220 billion hit to developing countries, excluding China, because of COVID-19. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to my lecturer, Madam Siti Hajar binti Majani. My name is Siti Zulaika binti Azmi. I am from AS2016A1. Today, I will be making a videography one of the uh, one of the assessment for code HRM 533 introduction to human resource management mainly entitled COVID-19 affected for businesses the company that I have chosen for this video assessment is Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad the COVID-19 began as a health crisis that gradually transformed into a global economic crisis at a pace and severity that we haven't seen in our lives. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought incredibly quickly and unpredictable factors, some of which were not equipped to tackle current disaster plans and teams. There has never been a more urgent need for companies to reconsider and reconfigure their business for a change environment as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to develop. Nevertheless, these businesses face the crisis with a reinvention spirit that accelerates digital transformation, introduces agile operations and builds variable cost structures. Human resource management, or known as HRM, took up the position to operate by managing people to deal with stress in the uncertain current and unexpected future and to continue operating remotely so the company continues with its operation. When face-to-face -face collaboration is exchanged with emails and video conferencing, in challenging conditions, HR managers have to do difficult work, such that in order to provide various working hours and provide kind of flexibility that the organization had never proposed to its staff before, several businesses rapidly introduced changes in their remote work policy. George and Bonds 2020 stated that HRM now has to deal with the increasing occupational tension caused by remote work when job and family boundaries are distorted. In this video, we will discuss about a well-established company known as Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad. As we all know, with a range of vernacular, live sports content and international, Astro keeps Malaysians updated and entertained, interacting with 24 million people. As a content provider serving all Malaysians, Astro's sustainability efforts are mainly community focused, in line with our corporate principle of inclusivity. In informing and educating the population, the media plays a key role with improved accessibility facilitating almost instantaneous content delivery. As reported by the Malaysian Reserve, for the first quarter ended 
April 30, 2020, the net profit of Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad dropped 58.09% year on year from 176 million 20 cents to 73 million and 84 cents in the same time frame last year, following higher funding costs and the effects of the COVID-19 pandemics. According to the survey of Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad, the main challenge that the company face are the lower advertising spend, restrictions in upselling and installation, and commercial establishments which are not permitted to cooperate. Wherever consumer behaviour has changed, in turn, advertisement spending has altered. Moreover, fundamental shifts in supply chains and routes to the market also are knocking businesses off balance with the COVID-19 crisis. Advertisers of all types have been caused by the pandemic to reconsider the form of campaigns they should operate, including Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad. Astro witnessed a 38% year-on-year decline in attacks to 90 million as advertisers pull down spending, consistent with the downturn in company. While ADEX declined, the Redex share of Astro Radio increased to 84% by 4% points. With most commercial establishments not allowed to operate, we proactively introduce flexible subscription and payment arrangements, say by the Astro Group CEO Henry Tan. Since the business continuity plan BCP was introduced, they stayed focused on providing the customers with uninterrupted service while ensuring their employees' safety and health. Quote by Ton Zaki Azmi, chairman of Astro, mentioned that despite the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, Astro continues to be cash-generative, cost-disciplined and proactive in its capital management. Astro Malaysian Holdings Berhad has showed us that brilliant leadership would guarantee organization success and there is no place for poor leadership in tough times. In developing leaders, human resource has a crucial role to play, ensuring they are productive and keeping them responsible. Leaders need new and strengthened management skills from a distance, inspiring staff in the midst of uncertainty toward a vision, ensuring calm and transparency, associating work between team members and community building. Due to COVID-19, the challenges are complex, including support for staff, compensation and benefits and transfers, strategic relationships between the company and advancement of leadership. The Social Security Organizations of Malaysia or known as SOCSO, has moved to explain that under the Job Social Security Act 1969 of the country, COVID-19 is identified as an occupational disease. Human Resource Management Asia highlights that SOCSO reported that staff who contract COVID-19 as a result of the nature of their employment due to direct exposure will demand compensation. Also, patients who are contaminated by some other source and suffer permanent disability, causing disability or death, can also be covered by the Workers' Social Security Act 1969 Invalidity Pension Scheme. Human resource is arguably in the best place to see organization's strategy and have a structural perspective, ensuring team, work, business association and sealers coordination, connectivity and collaboration. That's all from me. My name is Siti Zuleka Binti Azmi and thank you for listening.